The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment and contains views, opinions, commentaries, and content that may offend some subscribers of this show. Listener's discretion is advised. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1-641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1-647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion ten times! Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace! Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god! J-B-L- J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of H-E-W Entertainment Radio on the official website of H-E-W Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So, so what, what are you, you waiting, waiting for? Log on and listen now. Don't miss out on any of the action. Download our app on the App Store, Google Play, and the official website of HEW Entertainment. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you'll get caught up on news, YouTube videos, and more. Download it now.
are listening to the biggest Dean Ambrose fan you could ever hear on YouTube in the world. I'm your host, Jonathan Clark, and I say that because after his match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32 just a few nights ago, I was impressed and left for a loss for words what Dean Ambrose gave us, and one of the most incredible matches that should have been for the championship and put over more than what it was. What a great match between himself and Brock Lesnar. The standing ovation for both of these individuals is something I still can't get out of my mind, a very vivid image that stays with me in the fallout of WrestleMania 32 this year, an outstanding show from what a lot of people were saying, really criticizing WrestleMania this year, even Bret Hart saying that WrestleMania 32's card was the worst he had seen in years, and he's headlined a lot of WrestleManias, but this year's WrestleMania came through, and one of the biggest reasons why was because of Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose, now the future of Dean Ambrose seems to be more clear to me as a Dean Ambrose fan, you know, when I first saw Dean Ambrose and Triple H as the final two, and the Royal Rumble of this year taking you back to January 2016, the place exploded when they realized Dean Ambrose had a chance of winning the Royal Rumble and headlining WrestleMania as the champion. With the title on the line following the elimination of Roman Reigns, Triple H going on to eliminate Dean Ambrose to become champion. And then Dean Ambrose goes on to a triple threat match at Fastlane for a chance to be the number one contender for the championship and gives a phenomenal performance in that match with Reigns and Brock Lesnar. And then we see Dean Ambrose going all the way out of WrestleMania the way he did against the Beast Brock Lesnar, which a lot of people cannot have credit for having done, but Dean Ambrose is one of those wrestlers. Obviously, WWE sees a lot of potential with. And here's the thing about Dean Ambrose, which is really scary to me. Dean Ambrose is just merely scratching the surface of everything he has yet to achieve as a WWE superstar. His popularity has been blown out of proportion and definitely illustrates just how good of a wrestler Dean Ambrose is. I've said many times, Dean Ambrose puts me in mind of a Brian Pillman character from the 90s, the loose cannon Brian Pillman. Many of you probably have forgotten about Brian Pillman, but there are so many who have forgotten about Brian Pillman, on the other hand, who do remember who Brian Pillman was, working with the likes of Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Bret Hart. And I think the loose cannon's character kind of resembles what Dean Ambrose brings to WWE's new generation. Of course, he's a former Intercontinental Champion despite dropping the Intercontinental title is someone like Kevin Owens. I think that Dean Ambrose could go a long way with his career, and I think the potential of Dean Ambrose is something you cannot go on without recognizing because he's just so fun and very unpredictable to watch, and that's one of the things that jumps up, really many of the things that jumps up at me about Dean Ambrose is just how he has so many outstanding qualities, uh, which is really allowing me to see what Dean Ambrose can do as a WWE superstar. What we need to do for Dean Ambrose is put him in more matches with the likes of Brock Lesnar and see what he can do. I think that Dean Ambrose versus CM Punk, Dean Ambrose versus Daniel Bryan would have been outstanding matches to see on the level that Dean Ambrose is at now, and it's unfortunate we probably never will see those matches, but even though we probably will never see those dream matches of Ambrose and Punk or Ambrose and Bryan, there are still a lot of wrestlers that Dean Ambrose could create with. I mean, putting him in the ring with Bray Wyatt uh, is one way of looking at it, but really is a miscarriage of justice because I think Dean Ambrose needs to have more matches against the likes of John Cena. And I say that because you look at the U.S. Championship match that Dean Ambrose and John Cena gave us a few months ago. It was incredible. I think it happened sometime within 2015. The exchange between Ambrose and Cena was phenomenal and one of the best matches I had seen in a long time. And that's why I really miss John Cena and his involvement in the WWE product because of matches with Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose and Stardust. The U.S. Championship Challenge issued by John Cena really provided a lot of wrestlers with an opportunity, an outstanding opportunity to really show us what they were capable of doing. And I mean, you look at the matches uh, that Dean Ambrose had with the likes of John Cena. That, to me, really tells me that uh, Dean Ambrose belongs in the main events. And if his performance in the Royal Rumble doesn't tell you enough, I really don't know what to say about Dean Ambrose. The place exploded when they realized Dean Ambrose had a chance of eliminating Triple H and becoming champion, and even the authority got nervous at the end of it. And I think that Dean Ambrose, because of his performance in the Royal Rumble match, should still be considered a top contender for the championship. And even not that, if not that, the Intercontinental